Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, you did not subscribe yet, please go ahead and subscribe. That helped the channel tremendously. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe. Go to the button right now and subscribe. You help the channel. I have a lot more. This is the reason why you need to subscribe. I have a lot more videos. I have a story to tell. I'm a simple guy. I have a civil college degree. Working on my own. Has a lot of time in my hand. I'm building a company based on batteries and stuff, solar from my home country. Let me show you guys this thing here. You see this thing? Those are batteries, guys. All those batteries are going to be spot weld. So this video is about this spot welder that I received. Okay. This is the box. Let me take it off. Okay. Let me take it out. Pretty nice package. This is how it comes, actually. Is that it? Yeah, there was a plastic on top of it. This is the case for the spot welder, okay? This is the case, the box, you gotta put the stuff in there. There's two of them. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, put this thing in here. Put that in here. Put this thing in the garbage. What else we got here? This is the actual spot welder. Put this thing, what's in there? We're gonna be using that. We can pull the box out. Throw the box out immediately, guys, because I have too many boxes from my house. Take it out, put it in the garbage, and this is the board, the PCP, PCB board. Okay, this is the board. All right, guys, let's analyze, analyze the board. This is how it's supposed to look like. This is the part for the battery. Now, this is the part for the battery. Negative in here. Positive in here, guys. You have five MOSFET. This is the name of the MOSFET. This is the name of the MOSFET. I have seen some people. There's a guy he used to spoke to. He, he's pretty nice. He put from five more MOSFET in here. Okay. If you, if you put five more MOSFET, you need to put those bar there also. Make it stronger. And if you do that, you need to do double the thing on the back also, guys. So, I was thinking about doing that. This thing will take, look at this thing, guys. It will take up to 16 volt. That's amazing. I even know this thing takes it. I know it takes 16 volt for 15. It tells you the input can be up to 16 volt from 9 to 16. I would advise nobody to go near 9. Okay? Those things blow whenever the voltage is low. So, and I have this thing before. I did um, all the way to 10. It didn't blow. It works. I had another one like this guy. He called my Litrix spot welder. If you, if you watch my videos and those spot welder, I have several of the my Litrix. I was talking nice about it. Then the thing dies. I was in Haiti. The my Litrix spot welder dies. I bought two of them. I bought another one. I didn't know how it died the first time. <laughs> the second one dies in my face. I was about 10 fan volt. The light was on. I unplugged the battery. Go plug it back. And I charged the battery and put it back. This thing will not light up. I don't know why. Thanks to this little spot welder. The purple spot welder. Well, however they're doing it, the technique is amazing. So as you can tell, right there guys. It take off from 9 to 16. I had charged my, my body one time at 16, at 15.5. It did, they did do spot welder. Okay. This can be charged with um, X, X60. He says it right there on the thing. Okay, guys. Try to keep this thing above 10. Then you will have no problem. This thing will last you a long time. So far, I have, I have used this thing. Okay. I have another one, it's in my home country. I left it there. It's working 100%, didn't die. And I did a lot of spot welder with these guys. There's a reason I'm talking so much about this. It works for $25. That's the maximum you need to pay for this. $25, it works 100%. Now, if you see this video, that's been this thing work 100%. Because I'm about to do a lot of spot welder with it. 
more than a thousand spot welder today or sometime within today and tomorrow okay now let's put this thing together guys this is the case this is the case okay this is the top the top of the case is gonna go right here like this okay i have to take this the screen the, the screen off but i'm leaving the bottom off okay this is the bottom I'm leaving the bottom off but i'm taking this this screen off all right let me put it together guys let's see what's in there now we have this this nuts okay and then you have these guys and then this is this is your thing to spot well okay and this is a key, a key chain they sent to you i believe this thing is what you call this thing it's a screwdriver this one is something they do uh, this this is a Phillips, this is a flat one. The tiny screwdriver they give you. Okay, guys. Now what we have. I think you may have to use the screwdriver. I don't know. I don't remember if I use. I don't think I use that. Okay. Now let's put this thing together. First, I'm gonna tie it up. We gotta tie up this 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 wires. Those wires we're gonna tie them up to the board. You tie them up to the board, then you do whatever else you need to do. Got it, guys? Guys, we start with, I start with this thing first. So I'm going to take those wires, put them, and I already have my positive in here. That's my positive. I'm going to have nuts to put in there when I'm done. This is my negative in here. This is the battery I'm be using. This is a A160. This is pretty powerful. This is a 12 volt. I have a video on this, how to make 12 volt of this, of this, of this rack server. I'm going to have several other videos on this. And then this video is starting to be too long. Okay, guys, now I'm going to take this thing up and tie it up in here. Okay, this is for the body section. This is for the body section, guys. And this is the positive, the negative there. So in other words, this is negative, this is positive. I'm going to tie it in my hair. Guys, make sure you don't lose the nuts. Those things they only give you exactly what you need. Okay, guys, the wire is 10 gauge wire, and then this little connector is allow you to put 23 amp. It says it's right on it. 10 gauge wire, 23. But I do plan to change the gauge to change this thing, guys, to a bigger. If I'm gonna upgrade this, I will have another upgrade. I would love to try to upgrade this. Okay, when well, this thing works so good, I don't think. So far, so good, guys. Let me go ahead and put the nuts, everything together. Okay, guys, this is done. One side is done. I put the wire. I don't have the special way to do it. So I always put this thing higher because this thing close to it. Is, let me look at the, the height of this. This is higher. I flip it like that so the bottom becomes flat. Okay, so I don't have a special way to do it. I just figure this thing out like that. It's more comfortable that way. This is how I do it, guys. So I'm gonna put the other, the other one. And I should be done in a few seconds. Okay, guys, this is done. This is not really, you can do spot weather right now the way it is, but I bought the case specially for this, and I'm gonna place the case, guys. Okay, guys, now this part I'm gonna put on. Now I'm looking at this thing here. It tells me how to put it. This is the only way you can put it like this. That's the way. Because you flip it the other way, it won't fit in there. So I figured this stuff, if you figure, if you do this, it won't work. I figured this thing's supposed to be like this. So I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do the same thing. Put this face on the bottom, this is the top. I put the bottom first, guys. So I'm putting this thing together right here, guys. That's the way I think that's the right way. Uh, I have a previous video on this. I'm assuming that's the right way. See how I do it? I put the smaller one at the bottom, this one in the middle. And tie it up together. Okay, now this is pretty good. Now this thing gonna be on the bottom of it. Let me go ahead and complete that. 
guys try not to lose any one of them because they don't give you an extra guys try to take this in with your finger don't use nut tools because this is a pcb board you can break it so don't try to screw it too much i do okay guys guys the board on the bottom i don't remove this uh, the, because i don't remove the skin because don't make don't, don't make a difference i don't remove the skin but the top i'm gonna remove it okay guys don't tie this thing too much because this is a plastic it can break okay so it's very important it's just your own way of knowing and the bottom is turning don't try to tie it too much guys that should be good enough let me go to the top and i should be ready to test this thing guys i'll leave this thing the way it is i figure i will remove it when the do time because i can't get the grip of it so i'll leave it the way it is now let me put those things back in this is for the button guys don't try to lose them because they don't have to give you enough they don't give you extra there you go guys this is where it is yep i need to remove this thing now okay guys we got this extra one there this is the only extra we have i put it on the back this is ready to test guys guys this thing is done it'll be nice my last one i removed the case i removed the, the cover but i leave this thing alone this is i think this is the power and this is plus and this is the plus this is the minus okay guys so guys i think i need to do this i need to unscrew this i need to take the case of there's numbers you gotta see here i forgot all about that Okay guys, this thing's ready to spot well. I need to get, uh, I gotta go to the garage, get some screw, get, get some screw for those nuts. Get some screw for those nut guys. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I plugged the power. I think the thing was on, so. I plugged the power, I turned it on. I'm ready to spot weld, guys. I'm used to the spot welder. I take the minimum I need. I've been to spot welder, but I'm used to it. The mini, the maximum I need is okay. Which one go up? This one go up. Oh, this one go down. This one go up. Okay, I think nine should be fine. This is the thing I have. Guys, this is the thing I have. Okay, we have this guy here. Let me tell you a little bit a story about this battery. This battery comes from my e-bike. Okay, so I had to clean it up. This come out as it was come at 26 volt. There's a bunch of things hooked up together. So I decided to cut the bottom, change them face, and then make them in parallel. So this call this thing become this thing become a uh, four volt. Okay, this is four volt. I'm gonna spot weld in them. This is the first guys we're gonna spot weld. Let's we'll see if this thing works. Why I choose nine? Because I know this spot welder very well. I've been using it a lot. I start from nine until I never go past. I never, I never really go past 19 or 22. Okay, guys, let me go do a couple spot welder for you guys. Yeah, this thing doing something strange with me here. So let me try to do one. I'm afraid this thing gonna blow up. Okay, it's making a lot of noise. See, it's not supposed to do that. It's 
not supposed to do that, guys. <sighs> this is brand new. It's acting funny already. I miss my old one. It's not supposed to be doing this, guys. The battery is very strong. Let me check the battery. Check the voltage on the battery, guys. This is the battery. It's very strong. Let me check the voltage. It's going to make me scared. Battery. I got a voltage 13. That's a very powerful battery, guys. 13 is fine. Everything's fine. Okay, I'm ready to spot well. Let me put my gloves on, just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna put my gloves on, guys. I don't play with this. Guys, I'm gonna do one spot well. So if this thing gonna blow, it's gonna blow on camera. On camera. So I have this thing right there. This is how it's gonna be. Um, I believe this thing. Um, this nickel strip. I don't know. They send it with the machine, so. Okay. I put my other gloves, so I don't know, guys. I don't. I'm using it for the first time. I'm taking precaution. The things start beeping before anything happens. Okay, nine should be fine. Okay, this doesn't look good, guys. I think I need more than nine. I don't have to take it out. I need any more than nine. I think this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna put it more than, let me try 11, 12, 13. Let's see what happens. When you're using this thing for the first time, I'm just I'm extra careful. It does spot well. Okay, it does. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna do a little bit higher. I don't know the thickness of this. When it back to 16, I think I used 19 in the past. Let me do the spot well. Okay, that one's pretty good. Okay, let me go back on this one, guys. Uh, I gotta change the camera position for you guys to see this. is not good. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, they make it stronger, guys. Let me go 19. Let me go 20. I think the battery is pretty good, so. That sounds better. Yeah, that sounds better, guys. Okay, let me put this thing in the middle. Let's see what I have on this thing. This is weak. Let me get it in the battery itself. This is not bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is gonna be for me to attach them to each other, it gotta be a lot stronger. Okay, guys. 
Well, it does spot weld, okay? It does. I may need to go a little bit stronger, that's all. At 20, this thing can go all the way to 100. Let me put 20, 26 on this to see how it turned out to be. Trying to lift it up. It does spot well. But I use this thing in the past, guys, so I know there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I, for the first time, I always try to be careful. That's why I wear gloves. This is not bad. I don't feel it right, so let me go to the 30. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with the battery though. Then this is probably dirty and the top of the thing because well, there was there was blue was in there. That's probably what it is. This is pretty good. I think it's because this body was dirty. That's probably that caused that. Okay, guys. So this is this. You see, this one is clean. Let me go thirty-five. Because I'm doubling up this thing here. I'm gonna do like this here. Let's see how this thing works. You guys can see the spot well, I don't have to show it to you, you can actually see it. Okay, this didn't take off. This is not holding it. Let me go a little bit higher. That goes at 40. I don't know the thickness of this. I do not know the thickness of this, guys. I have no idea. This was on the bag. Yeah, I don't think it'll be more than one point one. It's not holding, guys. It's not holding. And go to fifty. Let's check the voltage on the battery. Yeah, you gotta check everything. Check the voltage on the battery now. This is positive, this is negative. Let's see what we have. Can the battery be drained like that? 13. 13 is good, guys. 13 is good. Maybe the wires, because the wire is too long. Because this is not the real battery you're gonna be, I'm gonna be using it with. I'm gonna change the battery. I'm gonna make it battery just for the just for the for this thing. 
It is not spot welding. This one is. Yep. Uh oh. Okay, let's change this. Let's change it the other way. I need to cross this thing, guys. I need to cross this. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I need to cross this thing. Yes. Everything spot well, but they don't want to spot well in there. Let me try something else. I got it lowered. Okay. Lowered to 35. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go straight to the battery itself because this is not it's not the passive section part of it. I can do it right there. Okay. Let's keep the other side. That's on the battery itself. This is on the, on the battery itself. It seems to work on the battery. Let's go to the battery itself. It seems to work. It's not coming off. Then you're going to have a problem. I like my old one. My old one does anything. Okay. So far, so good, guys. This is going to be a problem doing it. Of course, it now. So I got to go do it on the skin. I got to be careful when I do it. I do it too many times. Okay, let's do the middle first. Now this is a negative section of the battery. I can do those. What happened when you go in the positive section? I gotta make, I'm gonna be careful with this. Okay, it looks stuck. Okay, let's do this one. It looks stuck. Let's do this one. Okay. Let's do it on the bottom here. Let's do it in the middle. I don't think this is from the same manufacturer that I purchased this in the past. I don't think it's the party. It was the problem. I have to work some more with it, guys. Now this thing just come off. The whole thing come off. This part well is weak. I don't know if it's bad or not. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Put it on 39, see what happened there. I need to cross this. 
I need to cross those. I need to cross this, cross that. I need four more spots well to do on this thing here. <sighs> Did too much already on one. Sorry guys, I was doing spot well, I forgot to press the button. No, I have one here, I'm not finishing yet. Let me do that one. I don't know. I don't know if it's the body or not. It does work. I don't like it too good, guys. It does do the spot well because I have one at home. It does the thing beautiful. I don't want to buy a body that I can make a body for 49 bucks. Let's see. Let me see what happened, guys. I know if the thing is, is dirty. Let me do something, see what happens. Let me clean it up, do some cleanup, guys. I think I have something to do cleanup. Okay. This has already come off already. Okay, guys. I'm doing some cleanup here, let's see what happens. Take one of those, dump it here. Let me do come some cleanup on those two. Okay, use some cleanup. Let's see what happened. This thing's supposed to work. I have one at home that works home in Haiti. It works so beautiful. That's why I went buy another one. It didn't have no problem with it. Hmm. I need some bigs because I need something big. Let me see what does it do. Because this thing is loose. I need this thing to be tight, guys. It does do spot well. This has become loose again, guys. There we go, they're coming off. I may have to cut this to do it. Everything is just fine. This one's loose. This is 56. Okay, they're all tight now, but this part is loose. We can't have that. Let me go a little higher. Let me check the voltage of the battery first, guys. Check the voltage. Can you guys see the voltage? Make sure the battery is fine. Okay, battery. What you got? I'm at 12.9. 12.9 should be high. Okay, I think I need to try the battery a little higher. Let me go to 65. Let's see what 65 does on this thing here. This may be the battery is too weak. This 
it does part well, but it's loose. Okay. I need to be much stronger. Yeah, it's cut off. It's come off again. That's not good. That's not good. See? It come off. You can't have that. The bottom is still strong, but the tops come off. Okay, okay, the whole thing come off. Okay, guys, the whole thing come off. I think this thing had too much fat well though. We have to clean this thing up, guys. You can't go to the positive one to have the kind of issues. Okay, I think this thing works. I changed my cable. I think this has to do a lot with that cable, guys. This thing right there. I think it has, may have a lot to do with it. So, this connection may not be good. It may have a lot to do with it, guys. So, I'm gonna stop this video right there. This video has been too long. I think this is, there's nothing wrong with this part whether It does part well. Okay, when you go straight to the battery itself. Okay, guys, when you go straight to the battery itself, it does part well. So when you go straight to the battery, it does part well, no problem. If I put this thing right there, guys, and put it right there, it will spot well, no problem. Okay? I need to get cost one. Let's see if, if what I said is right. Okay? Okay, guys, this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to do it right there. You're going to see it's going to work. But you're gonna have a problem with the positive section of it but i think i won't do no positive section until i have the proper uh, proper proper what you call this thing proper body i think the body the connection they all want so i had that problem before so i can't blame on this battery that's it it's stuck okay it's stuck no this one doesn't stuck there we go. You see? Look at the spot well from the battery itself. Let me take the light off. From the battery itself, guys. It's stuck in there. Guys, that would be the end of this video. 
so I will give you more updates on this spot welder I just got it so you can smell the you can smell the smoke out of it this is antenna I think it's the cable my battery is not good the cable the cable the cable is not good I gotta change the cable and I'll give you an update in the future guys yeah now it's my new spot welder I have a lot of battery to do there they are back there guys I don't think I'd be struggling like that all this body. I gotta change the cable. Guys, stay, 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 stay tuned. You can see more videos, guys. I'm sorry about this one. There's nothing wrong with this one, though. It just the spot where I'm having a hard time with it. If you look at it, it does spot well. I think the the power is coming from here. The cable is too long. Oh, this cable is warm too. This is too long. Until then, guys, don't forget to subscribe and help the channel tremendously. I give you some updates with all those batteries. I, uh, I will have much, much more video on those spot welders because I have a lot of battery to spot well. Thank you, guys. See you next time.